and spill it all the tea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi guys, I'm Marissa and I'm Gabrielle and we are the Green Twins. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We have put on our Instagram, get juicy, ask us questions. So whatever questions you asked us, we are answering on this video. So we love the fact that we. Damn it! And we love the fact that we can just be like honest with you guys, like you know what's happening, keep you up to date with everything, and just yeah, we'll show you how we get ready as well. Cool. Let go. Q and a question time. First question: Who's your favourite cheerleader? Obviously me. <laughs> I'm my favourite cheerleader. Who's your favourite cheer team? Do you really like Coventry Dynamite? I like the routines. And no, I like the fact they don't wear buzz, but they've got the bobbles. For me, it's Unity All Stars Black. All day, every day. Do you go back? Mm, 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 go, go back. back. Woohoo! What's the worst date you've ever been on? <laughs> Just can't even deal with planning stuff. I'm someone that likes someone to plan something for me. So I just don't like having to plan myself. I like someone to go back up. We're meeting here at this time, this place. Be ready with whatever outfit. And I'll show up and I'll be there. I need the dark CZ for you. I'll talk about my worst date. I'll talk about my worst date while you're gone. So literally the worst date that I ever went on, we went to the cinema and I already hate going to the cinema on dates. You can't talk to each other. You know, you're just kind of there, you're watching a film. You might as well be sat like at home on your own watching a film. It was such a good film. Like I obviously chose it. <laughs> and he fell asleep. Obviously I didn't speak to him during the cinema or like, we didn't do any of that like cuddling, hand thing. And then he like literally fell asleep in the cinema. And I was just like, I might just like get up and leave. And just, when he wakes up, I won't be, I won't be there. And that was probably my worst date because he fell asleep and I was like, oh, well, that boring, thank you. <laughs> and the cinema? Yeah. Oh my God. So I had a guy let like, you walk in front of them. I don't know if it's to stare at you from behind or what, but I walked in front and was walking up some stairs and fell and tripped up the stairs to the point where you have to put your hands out and catch yourself. So I was like, oh, because I'm so clumsy. I've had knocks of over, I've knocked glasses over, knocked drinks over. I feel like you're not talking about your worst date, you're talking about how bad you are. <laughs> you're talking on... about how bad you are, not like you did. This is all on dates. I will knock things over. <laughs> Clumsiness ruins dates. Ruins lives. Oh, oh my god, I think I put too much on. Okay, next up. Ooh. Are your bums real? Uh, is that a serious question? Ooh. No, they're not. No. <laughs> Obviously they're not. No, of course they are. Yeah, our bums are definitely real. Like, we got them from our mama. <laughs> <laughs> we got them about 25 years ago. So they are real. We've not actually had any surgery or anything. We've not had any fillers, lips fillers, anything. We're just all natural. What you see is what you get, honey. It's getting dark early now, isn't it? Oh my God, it makes me cry. Gonna have to put the light on soon. Ooh, what's that? How old was you when you first started cheerleading and dancing? And I love you so much. So what? So we've done dancing and gymnastics from a young age. Um, literally what's a really young age? age. A young age is like two. Up until about seven years old. We then went crazy and was like, football. We, we did um, didn't we? Athletics. Athletics. We were good at athletics. Gabrielle's the second fastest girl hurdler in Leeds back 2011. in 2011. Better watch out for me jumping over them hurdles. <laughs> jumping away from those guys. I did high jump and 100 meters. I did discus as well and I was so good at throwing it. Oh my god, I have to tell you a story. So, in athletics, you got points even when someone just entered a race for your team and someone had dropped out of 200 meters. So I normally do 100 meters and my team were like, we need someone, please can someone go? So it was just about to start was the race and I was like, okay, I'll do it, I'll help. So I ran over to the 200 meter start line and the gun went off and I was like, already tired from running over there and I was so far behind, I literally came last behind. <laughs> Everyone was like, <laughs> 
It's fine because you got us some points. Like, thank you so much for embarrassing yourself. Yeah, you know, I was like, like, oh, <laughs> Everyone thought it was me as well because they can't tell the difference. So I had to walk around like I just lost. And I like, fine. Although losing's fine. Yeah, it's all about participation. <laughs> Lego. What was that question? When you start dancing and cheerleading, so we didn't even answer. So yeah, like you said, dancing from a young age. And then we started cheerleading in our second year of university. Second year of university for us was like 2013. We've only been doing cheerleading for like five years. And that's when we learned to do like the tumbling. Because we could only do like forward and backward walk overs and stuff before. But then we learned how to flick and tuck and yeah. things like that as well. So if anybody is wanting to learn a backflip and thinks that they can't do it because they're too old or just thinks that they genuinely can't do it, it's literally just your mindset. You can honestly do anything you set your mind to. Go out there, find a gymnastic club, find a cheerleading club that's going to help you and going to teach you. And you will be able to do it because we started, you know, so late. Oh, no, that's too bright. Yeah, that's all right, isn't it? Are you putting eyeshadow on? Yeah, put it on now. Yeah. What's your type? Type food. of food, yeah. fruit. Yeah. I'm guessing it means what's your type of guy? Loyal. Someone that's yeah. loyal, boom. Someone that empowers you. What's your type on paper? Tall, dark, and handsome. Standard. It's so standard, but it's so true. It's tall, dark, and handsome. Oh, seriously? Yeah. I love them tall, over six foot. Dark, dark skin, dark hair, dark eyes. My type is definitely blue eyes. <laughs> okay, just just pair of blue eyes there, please. <laughs> I would rather not stick to a type right now. Next up, Peng you two. I think that's a question. Peng, well, that's nice. Thanks. What do you do for a job? Full time bad man. Yeah. Do you vlogging, of course. We also have our own social marketing businesses. Social media online, it's also in person socialising and it's recommending things basically. We also have done performing throughout our whole lives as well. So we went to university and we studied dance and drama. Came out of uni and did loads of performing jobs. We started up a beauty business like while we were at university. So Qualified in spray tans and nails as well, which is fab. We still do spray tans. We actually did some today, didn't we? Yeah. The brand's called Arbonne. It's literally the most gorgeous packaging I've ever seen in my life. The logo. Look. All of the pro The bag. Everything. Is all the products. We only use Arbonne products because they're naturally derived. They're vegan and they're just so nice. I've used so many different products being a performer and these are the best that I've ever used. So, so I don't so use... Sorry. You know, I don't... I don't use... I don't use anything else and like Gab's gonna say they're not tested on animals as well. Are your brows level? When did you first start going out with Luke and Niall? I started going out with Niall November 2017. I first started going out with Luke in 2016. And then we split up. Then we got back together in 2017. In total, you know, we've known each other for like three, four years. Like ages. <laughs> crazy, crazy times. Are you happy with your love lives at the minute? Absolutely. 100%. Also, really working on loving ourselves. I thought I nearly died then. If you don't love yourself, no. then who's going to love you? It's true. And if you don't know your worth, you need to realise it. You don't ever want to convince anyone to be with you. You don't ever want to try and make force a relationship. Because when it's meant to be, it is meant to be. And I really, really do believe that. Which, which twin gets more boys? Ooh. Which twin traps more boys? <laughs> Definitely Marissa. Yeah. 100% prefer. I just stick to the relationships. I think like, whoa, what are you saying, Queen? <laughs> now, I'm more girly. Do you know what I mean? 100%. Like, I'm really cute and like girly. And Gab's really like outspoken. She'll say what she wants. She just don't take any, you know. So I think that's why I think I get taken advantage of. <laughs> No, you definitely don't. It's because you just, yeah, you look more like softer and nicer to approach and people like look at me and they're like, she's quiet but deadly, she swear to God she's like a snake. I'm a snake. Being yeah, you know, a snake, you can't see snakes when they're slithering through the grass. But when they bite you, you're screwed. It's true. It's you. Who's the oldest? Me. 
Not me. I'm, I'm nine minutes older, so I celebrate my birthday nine minutes before, blow out all my candles, um, have a nice party, a lot of presents, <laughs> and then Gab has a little birthday afterwards. Okay, who is your celebrity crush? Oh, well, I like, I love Will Smith. One of the reasons is because he's fit. Another reason <laughs> is because he Fun. does the best motivational audios in the world. He believes in the law of attraction, and I'm all about that. His spiritual side is incredible. Yeah. Mine is H, definitely at this moment in time anyway. Yeah, I think he's like, just like, bit, you know? Yeah, I, I don't even know why. I think I'm attracted to him because he's just so driven and motivated, and it's just like, he's just burst onto the scene, and he's just absolutely balling. That's like, true. he's just killing it. And we met him, and he's so nice in person, but he's so down to earth. Mm. I think we got about <laughs> <laughs> got about seven selfies with him, like a different. It was just hilarious. It was so much fun, and we were with him for a while, and he was just really nice. Mm. Yeah, it was good. Should have asked him to rap. Should have. Yeah. Should have asked him. Should have asked him to get on the YouTube channel. Yeah. There's still time for that, guys. Still time. Stay tuned for next. Oh, <laughs> yeah, stay tuned for it to join us next week. <laughs> Do you have Tinder? Found it, found it. Do you have Tinder? Don't interrupt me. No, I found it. <coughs> Fab. No, I don't have any dating profiles. Anything Someone looking like for that. you. Are they looking for you? Mm, I know. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> if you found one, though, let me know. Yeah, because it's, it's not, not me. me. I don't have Tinder or any dating profiles because, well, one of the reasons. It's because if I found someone, I won't be able to get with them because I don't want my story like in life saying to my kids, oh, they mean, you know, me and your dad met on Tinder. I can't do it. I want me and your dad met in a gorgeous park. We're walking past each other. I dropped my book. He picked it up. He gave me it and we just got married. You know, something like that. Not, you know, kind of low key, but not low key. Low key, but absolute vibes. Yeah. Where it's probably going to be, yeah, we're on a night out and leave. How have you dealt with heartbreak? First of all, watch my heartbreak vlog. I put it on around Christmas time. Watch that at the end, I think in the final 10 minutes, I kind of really go into detail and I had so many messages about that saying people resonated with it. And that's me being open and honest with everyone. It's like me. So look at that. Second thing is massively personal development. Why am I holding this? <laughs> For me personally, <laughs> I say googling quotes on Instagram. If you search on Instagram, like heartbreak quotes, hashtag um, heartbreak quotes, they could be really good. <laughs> heartbreak quotes. <laughs> and you need, you need a goal because when you set a goal and achieve it, when you go through heartbreak. It's the best comeback ever. And you feel so good. So you can't give attention to the breakup. You have to focus on something else. Have a pity party for 10 minutes, cry, get in bed, have some chocolate, whatever, and then get on with it. Yeah. Put your lipstick on, put your face on, put your best outfit on and go. Get out there. Yeah. I think all the feelings that you, you'll be feeling as well, whether that's sad, whether that's happy, whether that's upset, whether that's nervous, anxious, it's all normal. Mm. Everybody deals with it differently. Just know that you can reach out to people and speak to them. Like you can always message me and Marissa on Instagram. Sometimes you know things fall together, so better things can fall apart. Something sometimes things fall apart. Sometimes things, things fall, fall together, so better things can fall apart. Do you know what I just said? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> all right, sometimes things fall apart, so better things can fall together. Yeah. Also, some things may fall apart, but they may come back together. You just. <laughs> <laughs> Are you two twins? Is that a serious question? No, bless you, bless you. Yeah, we are. <laughs> bless you. Yeah, we are. Yeah, some people might not know. No, don't be shy. Some people might not know. Yes, we are. <laughs> what? The, we've got green twins page. Yeah, it's a green twins on Instagram. Some people like that. Too. Thank you. Thank you all so much for watching this vlog. We hope we've answered so many of your questions. There were so many we could have picked and answered. We're definitely going to do this like next week as well. Thank you so much. Perfect. 
We're definitely going to do this like next week as well so that we can obviously answer more of your questions. You can get to know us a little bit more. Do you see your questions please? Thank you so much for liking. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. Please share this video. Get it out there. Get the word of the Green Twins out. Make sure you head into our Instagrams. Watching our daily journeys. You'll be able to find a lot about us on there as well. Definitely. And let's choose a comment of the vlog from the last vlog which was what we ate in 24 hours so this was such a great one because you guys have been asking for it for ages on our instagrams on the comments on youtube you know what do you guys typically eat so we did a basic one of what we ate in 24 hours on that day we're really cutting down at the moment because we're just getting prepped for cheerleading season starting again um, <laughs> so comment of the vlog goes to Shiyama Mabitsla, who says, Love you guys, you are so pretty and inspirational. Love watching you so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We love reading through your comments, guys. We love replying to them all as well. Like, we thank you so, so much. And thank you for watching this vlog. Looking forward to bringing you some more content. Yay. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.